Welcome to my EME7938 inquiring presentation. My name is Roberto Fonseca and today I will be discussing my research on enhancing student engagement in general classes of technical and vocational schools with a focus on the role of media production. In this inquiry, I will be focusing on the Center of Cinematography, Arts and Television, or CCAT, a technical film school that primarily serves bilingual students. The curriculum at CCAT is designed to provide students with specialized knowledge and skills in cinema and television production. As an instructor with a background in film and television production, my role is to research innovative ways to incorporate technology for promoting student engagement and motivation. The target audience for this inquiry consists of a diverse group of bilingual students from countries such as Cuba, Venezuela, and the United States, who are pursuing majors in video editing, film production, sound engineering, and cinematography. The problem I have identified is the lack of engagement among students in general required classes, especially in math. Research has shown that student engagement is a crucial factor for academic achievement. At CCAT, students tend to be more engaged in specialized classes aligned with the career goals and interests, such as camera operation, lighting, video editing, and film production, rather than the general classes. To address this issue, I propose implementing a module or instructional intervention that incorporates media production as a strategy for engagement in math classes. Media production can help make general required classes more engaging and relevant to students by including activities such as narrated presentations, animation, video performance, and fictionalized videos. The goal of this inquiry is to explore how media production can be used to improve engagement in non-major subjects. I aim to answer the following questions. How does integrating media production as a strategy for engagement compared to traditional methods in general classes of technical and vocational schools impact student engagement among diverse learners? What's the impact of incorporating media production as an engagement strategy compared to traditional methods on diverse learners' self-perceptions of engagement and how does integrating media production as a strategy for engagement impact student performance and the quality of work in general classes of technical and vocational schools among diverse learners. In this study, I initially plan to use four data collection strategies to examine the impact of media production on student engagement in math class. These strategies included student surveys, observation and field notes, student artifacts, and online discussions. However, after beginning implementation, I said that the online discussion method was collecting similar information to what was already being gathered through observation and field notes. As a result, I decided to dismiss the online discussion data collection method in the second wing of the implementation. In order to measure changes in student engagement and motivation, I administered student surveys both before and after the implementation of the media production mode using the Solver Mocking platform. These surveys assess various aspects of student engagement. After completing the media production module, students were surveyed again to assess their motivation, interest, and engagement level during the module, as well as their understanding of the math comes discovered and their confidence in their math abilities. The survey also collected data on students' experience with their perception of its effectiveness and a comparison with traditional methods of teaching math. To facilitate the analysis of the survey data, the responses were documented in an Excel spreadsheet. I made observations and field notes to document student behavior, participation, and interaction with the media production model, relating this data to the research questions. A structured observation protocol was used to ensure consistency in the data collection process. I assessed different aspects of students' engagement to establish a comparison. Observation and field notes were also taken a week before the model implementation. This baseline data helped in understanding the difference in student engagement between traditional teaching methods and the media production model. Some survey behaviors and occurrences were numerically documented to facilitate quantitative analysis. I collected student artifacts, such as videos and animated presentations, as tangible evidence of student engagement, understanding, and creativity. These artifacts demonstrated the students' involvement with the media production model and the grasp of the math topic cover. To ensure consistency in the data collection process, I provided students specific guidelines and goals for the media production activity. The students were given a choice of topics related to the math topic covered in the module and they were required to produce a video or animated presentation on that topic. I used a rubric to evaluate the artifacts, ensuring objectivity and consistency in the evaluation process. The rubric was based on a specific criteria that aligned with the detailed research question about improvement in performance and quality of work. The evaluation results were documented in an Excel spreadsheet to facilitate the analysis of the student's performance and quality.
quality of work. In this study, I employ various data analysis strategies. My data sources include surveys, observation of field notes, and student artifacts. The first data analysis method I use was frequency analysis, in which I utilize Excel spreadsheet formulas for quantitative data analysis. I quantify occurrences of different behaviors and responses, focusing on student participation, quality of work, and engagement during discussion. This analysis was applied to data from student surveys, observations, and artifacts. The second data analysis method I used was change in number analysis. I also use a cell spreadsheet formula for quantitative data analysis to compare pre- and post-instructional activity survey data. By calculating means, standard deviations, and mode, I determined difference in student engagement. Lastly, my third data analysis method was qualitative data analysis. I coded and summarized test responses from open-ended questions for qualitative data analysis. This process helped me identify common things and patterns in student behavior and responses from observations and student surveys. By organizing these things into categories, I gained a better understanding of the impact of the media production model on student engagement. Here are the key findings from the frequency analysis of student surveys. The results indicate that after participating in the media approach model, students reported positive changes in their motivation, interest, participation, understanding, and confidence in math. Notably, students' familiarity with the specific math topic covered in the media production model saw a significant increase. Now, I want to show you the findings from the chain number analysis of student surveys. The results indicate that after participating in the media production model, Students reported positive changes in their motivation, interest, understanding, and confidence in math. The standard deviation for these measures also show improvement, suggesting a reduction in variability in student responses. Furthermore, a student perception of media production as a helpful tool for learning improved after the media production model. Regarding the qualitative analysis of the student surveys, Initially, most students had positive expectations regarding the model's potential impact on their engagement and learning. After implementation, the majority reported a positive impact on their engagement and understanding of math concepts. However, some students found the model distracting or failed. It added unnecessary complexity, while others reported no significant impact. Furthermore, the result from questions 10 of the pre- and post-activity survey show that before participating in the model, students were either excited or nervous about the experience. Afterward, some students preferred the media production model over traditional teaching methods, citing increased engagement and relevance. Here is the frequency analysis from other data sources, the observation and field notes. The graphic displays the trends in student participation, questions asked, comments made, and interactions during each week of the model. The data reveals that the number of participating students increased significantly during the first week of the media production model, with a sharp rise from the previous week. However, the number of participating students remained relatively stable in the second and third weeks. The number of students asking questions and making comments increased from the first to the second week of the model, but decreased in the third week. In contrast, the number of interaction among students increased from the second to the third week. Lastly, the analysis of frequency and results of a student article. Here are the main findings. Regarding clarity of content, students demonstrated a solid to outstanding understanding of the math topic cover with only a few producing content that was unclear, wordy, or inaccurate. In terms of relevance, students mostly demonstrated an ability to connect the math topic to real-world situations. However, some videos did not effectively demonstrate this connection, showing that there is room for improvement in this area. These studies' results are consistent with previous research on the benefits of media production in improvement in engagement, motivation, and understanding. These study findings also support the importance of diverse learning, experiences, and collaboration. The study further highlights the significance of careful implementation and addressing diverse learners, aligning with previous research. The findings contribute to the ongoing discussion of media production versus traditional teaching methods. Finally, the analysis of student artifacts supports previous research demonstrating an improvement in quality and performance. Overall, the findings both resonate with and challenge existing understanding of the topic, emphasizing the importance of considering individual and student needs and preference in the effective implementation of media production as a teaching strategy.
the implication of this study provide valuable insights for educators, particularly those teaching at technical and vocational schools. Firstly, media production can be a powerful tool for enhancing engagement and understanding in non-major subjects, such as math. Secondly, tailoring content to students' interests and career goals can play a significant role in increasing motivation and engagement. Instructors should strive to make connection between general subjects and student specialized interests to create a more meaningful learning experience. Thirdly, promoting collaboration and interaction among students can positively impact their engagement levels. It is essential to recognize that students exhibit diverse learning preferences and needs. While media production was effective for many students, some did not find it as beneficial. In conclusion, this study has demonstrated that integrating media production as a strategy for engagement in general classes of technical and vocational schools leads to increased engagement across diverse learners compared to traditional methods, the elevated self-perception of engagement among diverse learners and improving in student performance and work quality. Some factors contributing to these outcomes include active learning experiences, increased collaboration and communication, and opportunities for real-world applications and problem solving through media production. Based on these conclusions, I suggest the following actions. Strengthen media production integration by providing comprehensive training, resources, and support for educators and students. Adjust your media production methods to accommodate the various learning styles and needs of students through personalized teaching techniques and supportive frameworks. And expand the scope of media production integration by promoting its use in different subjects and projects. Here are the reference for the journal articles and images used during the presentation. Thank you for joining me and for your attention.